it, when an individual gets targeted for something like this, it's, it's deeply, deeply personal. Racism is deeply personal, and, and it can be traumatic as well, depending on the circumstances. Good evening. A school board and community are left looking for answers tonight after they woke up with hateful messages graffitied on their school's walls. This latest incident comes as reports indicate Canada is seeing a dramatic spike in anti-Semitism. It was racist. Uh, it was uh, targeting not just the Jewish community, but there was vile anti-Semitism. There was other racist graffiti that was on there. Shadows remain on the walls of Woodbridge College High School where just one day ago, this is what the exterior of the building looked like. Hateful messages spray-painted on the walls seen in these photos sent to City News. One shows the Canadian flag painted with a swastika in the middle. The other, equally disturbing, an illustration of two towers with a plane. Graffitied next to it, Jews did 9-11. That an individual or individuals would uh, use that opportunity right before what is a moment of great celebration for our whole country mm -hmm. to just spew hate, yeah. vile hate. The York Regional District School Board says this is the first time an incident of this sort has occurred at the school, where an unknown number of graffitied messages were discovered Thursday. Some used the N-word, others targeted teachers. We're shocking and disappointed. Um, you know, that our building was subjected to this kind of anti-Semitic and racist graffiti. Our culture as a board is one of, of anti-racism, standing up to anti-racism, standing up for equity. Like, you know, our motto is diversity is our strength, equity is our commitment, and inclusion is our goal. B'nai B'rith Canada learned of the incident after a member of the public called it into the hotline. The organization keeps track of these incidents, saying 2016 was a record-breaking year for anti-Semitism in Canada, and our country saw a 26% increase in incidents since 2015. In their annual audit, they report there were over 1,700 incidents last year alone, with Ontario seeing nearly 500 reports. It's fairly usual to have institutions such as schools, um, uh, houses of worship, like synagogues, um, Homes as well get uh, get vandalized. That we've seen more specifically an increase, a disturbing increase in Holocaust denial as a subset mm -hmm. of anti-Semitism. Um, so it's a very disturbing trend. B'nai B'rith Canada is tonight praising police for taking this latest incident seriously, hoping more people will realize the seriousness behind these acts. Perpetrators should understand when you are targeting an identifiable group, there are consequences for your behavior. Mm -hmm. So it's very, very important that they, that they see that there are those consequences and then hopefully that will deter uh, others in the future from, from targeting other minorities. Police tell City News it is possible that there is CCTV footage of the incident, but that remains part of their investigation. They're also asking anyone who may have any information to reach out to them or Crime Stoppers anonymously.